Welcome back to NBA. The Laker girls were incredible. They defined what Showtime was. I remember going around the league. It was, ah, you L.A. people with those Laker girls. I, I thought it gave it a, a, a better feeling overall. You start talking about the Laker girls, and that's a distraction. Laker girls were pretty nice. <laughs> they could dance. They were good. You know, girls wasn't that fine everywhere. You wasn't getting that in Minnesota. When you're a high school senior and you go to a Laker game and you see the Laker girls, you, you just kind of shake your head. <laughs> they were incredible. They were pretty. They were hot. People wanted to be like them. Man, it was off the chain. Reggie Theus, one, two, three, four. The Laker five. girls counted on choreography, costumes, and makeup. But Reggie Theus got his look right out of the gene pool. Reggie Theus looked like he could have been an actor on Miami Vice. I've been doing some some acting classes and things of that nature. It never worked for you, baby. He had a jumper, though, I'll tell you that. Cue the players, and Reggie connects. Reggie was all GQ, pretty boy with the eyes and all that. And the ladies love Reggie. Number 24, Reggie Theus. I don't think he had a jerk off. I think he just had that nice, he had what you call good hair. Now, see, Reggie, that's natural curl. Reggie still has those curls. They're just a little gray now. <laughs> Let's see, one word with nine letters to sum up the NBA. It's fantastic. Ha, <laughs> ah, the NBA is fantastic. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, my God. The NBA, it's fantastic. If you happen to be recording the game and you happen to get one of those commercials, it was, it was a big deal. Fans could relate to it. Players could kind of relate to it. Oh, yeah, man. It's fantastic. NBA is fantastic. Are you kidding me? Fantastic. Those are the days, the 80s. Can we bring those back? The Sixers' Bobby Jones was a fantastic choice in 83 when they handed out the first Sixth Man of the Year award. What a block by Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones with another one of his stupendous defensive efforts. One of the best defenders to play the game. Bobby Jones, baby. He would just fly out of nowhere and just block your shot off the bat. He was phenomenal coming off the bench. That is Bobby Jones, isn't it? He looks like Mr. Bean. He was Dennis Rodman before Dennis Rodman came. He was the best six man ever. Four on two. Bobby Jones looked at him fly. Holy mackerel. He would turn around and run up the court and he would go. That was his that was his thing. Bobby Jones be like, good pass. <laughs> Philly was already loaded when it added Moses Malone to the mix. Oh, man, I love Moses. Moses is singularly the greatest influence in my NBA career. That was it. You know, we got to the doorstep and couldn't get in. We got Moses. Malone with the offensive rebound. Is Malone strong or what? The more they push me, the feel like the stronger I get. And I get more aggressive than I know what I got to, I got to do. I always love him because he always, it was mumbles. He was the only player who would get 30 rebounds and 30 points. They couldn't interview him. They just, he was like, how you feel? Mm -hmm, yeah. He'd start talking to you, you go, huh? He loved to scrum. So when he started scrumming with Moses, like he would win that because he'd be like grabbing your arms and you couldn't move and stuff. I just thought he overpowered it. Maybe that's not a good word. Maybe I should have said punishing. I don't know. What the hell is the difference? <laughs> I think the Lord gave me this talent to be the best. Uh, that's why I think I would name Moses. Moses Malone. That's not even a nickname. That's his real name. Imagine you're 6'10", your name is Moses, and you can't play ball. That's a lot to live with. What was it? What is and wait, Little Mo, who else was The doctor, Kevin Maloney, what was that? Little Mo, Big Mo, the doctor, Andrew Tony, and Ivoroni. No baloney. Six is all the way. <laughs> I remember that. They said Moses took us to the promised land. Like, you couldn't beat them. The two-time MVP owned the middle and also one of the most unique guarantees in all of sports. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Uh, <laughs> I said 4-4-4. Four, four, four. So it's 4-4-5 four, four, and five or something, something to that point. 4-4-4, four, four, four. yeah. With the talent that we had, I think we had an opportunity to do it. One right for Philly. There's the doctor. 
it was so, so great because you, I, I loved Moses and, and, and Doc needed help and they just swept through. There it goes, Cheeks on his way to the world championship to Moses, slam dunk, congratulate the world champion, Philadelphia 76ers. 444 became, you know, 454 and, uh, and history was made. How's it feel to get him in four straight though? Oh man, that's the best. <laughs> Thanks for watching NB80's Volume 2.